Open Effect, a retail podcast. Thanks for hanging out with us today. I'm your host, Meredith. And I'm your host, Cass. Let's have some fun. <laughs> Don't be nervous. You'll be fine. It's fine. <laughs> well, you said she was going to have a drink before she got I here. I know. Well, I, I took thought, a nap instead. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I need a nap. I thought I'm we so were going to start drinking at 10 a.m. today, but we're just like, <laughs> Why? How was last night? We had a fire. Yeah. That's good. Good. It's good, nice good, good. out. We're all oh, barefoot right finally. now, and it's delicious. I love it. I said, it. I can't believe we're going to hang out down in my basement and record on the first 60 and yeah. 70 degree day. But you know what? Um, we got some drinks here, yeah. and the windows are open. Yeah. So if you hear some uh, some traffic, don't worry about it, because yeah. we're just going with the windows open and the sunshine. I said so. we should we should have been out on the back porch. Yeah, we should have. I should have just brought everything yeah. over. Yeah, yeah for That's sure. That's okay. That's okay. Can you introduce our guest, please? This is my sister-in-law, Kendra. Yay! Hello. <laughs> So, hi. so I've called her probably four different names. I'm like Kendall, Kylie, <laughs> whatever. And then Chris. you get me Kendraza. You get me all screwed up with the salon <laughs> name. I even had to like, you came into the door. I'm like, okay, so are you Kendraza? Like the way I had to say it. <laughs> Terrible, terrible. It's my name with the Z at the end. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So Kendra's. yeah. As I think even last week I was saying something. You kind of looked at me like, I'm sorry, who's coming over? Yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm your sister in law. <laughs> that one. We got the K's today. We got so, Kylie after this. Yes. Yes. I know. Um, Kendra, you are not only a hairdresser but also a bartender. Yes. I am. So yes. you are like super duper in the customer service. She is someone to have as a friend. Yeah, because not only does she mix good drinks, she can cut your hair <laughs> and wax not, your eyebrows. I was gonna say, don't not do together, both. Don't. Not yeah, I was together. Gonna, not together. <laughs> I don't know. I'll let, I'll let you once, do it. I won't do it again. No. <laughs> <laughs> so we always talk about old fashions on here. Look at my shirt today. Call me old fashioned. We always talk about old fashions yes. and how we just can't find one that we I like. I am not a fan, but you know. I have found them up in Lake Geneva. Yeah. Very, very good. They know yeah. how to do it up there. Yeah. And then this one is delish. So thank yeah. you. Yeah. It's, okay. Look how pretty it is. Too. I know. I she know. She smashed the oranges. She came in with a with a bag of stuff. Yes. Pop. And what what kind of, is it bourbon or whiskey? Brandy. Brandy. Oh, oh it's brandy. Okay. Brandy there we go. Because they always ask me the different. Okay. So it's brandy old fashioned. That's probably what I need to order. Yes. Then. Cause I'm, I'm familiar with bourbon. Cause we have the St. Elmo's bourbon yeah. here that I always drink. I take a shot before a cold run in the morning or yeah. anything like that keeps your body warm <laughs> for a clock in for the day <laughs> <laughs> on a Saturday morning. You need that liquid encouragement. Yeah, you do. You do. And it keeps me warm while I'm Is running. Is that why but... you slipped and fell on rocks? <laughs> no, I did not have a shot that morning cause I had to work But on the weekends in the winter. Yeah. But anyways, thank you very much. It's very, very good. Yay. So she brought her notes. Um, so Kendra, you're from Wisconsin, which is like home of the old fashioned, if I'm not correct or yes. if I'm not mistaken. Right. Um, and so you guys drink them brandy old fashioned sweet. That's how you order it. That is how I order it with yeah. cherries on it. Yep. So okay. then what's the difference between sweet and sour? Um, sweet is seven up and sour is like Sprite. Okay. And what okay. did you bring? Both. Cause I didn't know what you wanted. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, I saw both of them over there by yeah. the bar. So. I All like right. sweet. So yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, good. You're going to have to try it. Did you try it? No, or I didn't. Just try it. I don't. I think you'll like it. <laughs> I didn't make them strong. No, it's not real strong. <laughs> oh, it is pretty good. It is pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah, is pretty yeah. good. Okay. I can handle that. All right. So how long have you been cutting hair and bartending? I've been cutting bartending hair. And, yeah, everything. Tell us all about it. 12 Tell years. Us. Okay. Wow. So I went to school in 2011, right after graduating high school. Okay. Um, Went to Aveda in Milwaukee. Okay. And then uh, bartending, it's only been about a year, year and a half. Okay. Oh, okay. So. Yeah. And we just celebrated your dirty 30. Yes. Oh, we my did. God. Yeah. <laughs> Low key, I knew everything yeah. that was happening. I know. <laughs> At the end I of the night, she's shot, like, no, yeah. nothing gets by me. At the end of the night, Kendra's like, oh, yeah, I knew I knew we were having a surprise party. I mean, Tyler was just like, what the hell? Oh, my gosh. We should have just talked about it then instead of trying to keep <laughs> it a secret. Well, I didn't think she knew. So Aveda has been around for a very long time. When I first started dating my husband many, many years ago, um, we would go to the Woodfield Mall in Schaumburg mm. um, off a of golf road for those that are familiar. And they had an Aveda. I don't know. I don't know if it's still there, but we would drop some money there. That was his favorite really? place to shop for hair and accessory. Uh, oh hair my stuff. gosh. It all smells so good. Yeah. So yeah. it's a great company. So very that's earthy. Amazing. And so that's the same oh, okay. company, right? Yeah. You did school there and it's the same company. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The curtain scared me. Yeah. I finally, <laughs> yeah, because we have the windows open. I finally cut down our 100 balloons 
Oh, yeah. You know why? Because they've been up in the corner. Yeah. You know, did you see the pictures of our 100 episode? I think I did. Okay, so that we've. It, this is like eight weeks now. Yeah. So it's been a while. Yeah. And they were still hanging, and I opened the window, and the number one was sucking out into the window. I'm like, <laughs> I think you're done. I think you're done, guys. It's they time. Stayed, I was super they sad. They stayed up for a long time. I just did it a few minutes ago. Yeah. I'm like, all right. And actually, it feels like... Um, like a little empty over there because I'm does, so used to yeah. looking at them while we're talking. But. I know it looked different down so here. So bare. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like when you take the Christmas tree down and it's like, oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everything's echoing. <laughs> so I was working at a smart style. I was okay. being a manager. What's a smart style? So um, like so a- it's like a... Cost chain, cutters. Like cost cutters. Yeah. Great Fantastic clips. Sam. Yeah. Fantastic okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so these were particularly inside Walmart. Oh. oh okay. Okay. Um, okay. So I was there. I had my... A friend's mom. <laughs> no, my friend. <laughs> she was the mom, brought her daughter in. She's like, she really needs a haircut. She's always wearing hoods up. Um, I didn't know how bad her hair was matted. Oh. So I finally took the hood down and she's like, it doesn't look like anything because she'll brush like just that top layer. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah. Look good. And I was like, Oh, you're good, go to school. Well, it ended up being the size of like a baseball. Oh my god. And gosh. just really dense. And yeah. like, like on the back, like she yes, would just like always in a ponytail. In a ponytail. Like in a messy bun, ponytail, and just slapped on it, always wear a hood. So it just kept getting more matted. Oh, and terrible. Oh. How old was the kid? She had to have been seventh grade, eighth grade. Oh wow. That's about that's about the time that that happens. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard stories that yeah. at that age. Because they don't quite know what to do with it, yeah. but they do want to know what to do with it. Yeah. But it's just you're at that age where you're just like You're in sports. Yeah, you're yeah. in sports. Yeah. Yeah. You don't really care about doing your hair, but you're starting to learn. Yeah, yeah I've heard lots of. I saw probably stories. like a seven year old girl with her dad at the store yesterday, and it was like, oh yeah, mom must be out of town. This little girl's <laughs> hair was like, you could tell she just got out of bed. Oh and yeah, like, oh, dad no. was like, let's go get donuts at the store. She's like, okay. It was like her hair was like this in the back, like crazy. Good old bed head. Yeah, you know, it I was reminds laughing. me of how men just really don't care. They like, don't because you have know no for clue. women they don't know how to do it. Well, yeah. and well for for women, we're all like, oh, I just look terrible. Well, he 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 yeah. morning this and yeah. they're just like i don't care i, I don't still care. screw you yeah. <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> they don't care they don't care so it turn starts around. even when they're younger you know <laughs> just <turn around>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> let me mess up your hair like, a they little really more don't care what hair looks like you know how many times yeah. have you had to deal okay wait let me ask you a question real quick i don't know if you have a story about this on your list but talking about mats what about lice um, so I don't know if I've really ever encountered, I thought I did one. Yeah. Mm. Um, I turned them away and I was like, Hey, just go to the doctor. Cause I can't yeah. say you have lice. Right. Yeah. Um, and then I had to bake up everything and it has to sit in a plastic bag for like eight, 16 hours. Yeah. And then you have to wash everything. Oh yeah. yeah. So That's thankfully, like I don't know if that ever came in real life lice. But yeah. Yeah. But okay. Go back thought- to the matted girl. Sorry. Yeah. I sure. interrupted yep. you. No, you're good. <laughs> so whatever we I look at it and I just shocked just how big this thing was and how dense it was and i looked at it and i said are you okay with like a short pixie haircut yeah and she's like actually yes like that's what i really want so i was like okay so i'm like trying to get with my scissors and cutting into it i was like this is gonna take forever like my scissors aren't even cutting through it so i take my clippers and i'm just and i finally get like through the middle of it and i just pull it and there's just like powdered green assuming it was like shampoo that was oh Oh, sure sure out fuzzies and i was like oh it was like moldy yeah it It was all mold it was just yeah and and so just off it went again all of it wow did oh, she like the so cut? No, she did. Yeah. And she still to this day wears it short. Does she? Does so, she still yeah. come see you? Or yep. you yeah, yep. that's awesome. Yep. Yeah. So. Well, if you hear this, we're not talking shit or anything. <laughs> no, no. I mean, this, no, this, this is what happens. Thing. We're just yeah. sharing Well, that's experience. like dreadlocks, too. Yeah. Have those can get real nasty, those? too. They can. Yeah. And people really, I mean, it's emotional for anyone to get a dreadlock cut right. off. I've seen videos. Yeah. You know, I actually had a friend that she is now a neurology, neurology surgeon or a surgeon assistant, something like that, in neurologist. In neurology. Oh, my God. <laughs> See, I can edit all this shit. <laughs> Anyways, and she had dreadlocks, and before she graduated school, I think they had asked her to cut it all off. Which is bullshit. Yes, but you don't know what's inside the dreadlocks, and she's going to do some brain surgery. (laughs) Puts cover it up. You know what I mean? You have to wear bags over your head, don't you? You do. I would think so. But yeah, I think it was a whole thing. I remember watching it unfold. So unprofessional to ask somebody to change their hair. Yeah, I yeah, I guess. Something is dripping on your shirt by the M. It's her mouth watering for this old fashion. Is it melting? Is it? What is it? Or is it just shiny on the light? 
Probably that cinnamon roll I ate <laughs> earlier. <laughs> I'm like, what is shiny on the M? Definitely caramel <laughs> drizzle. <laughs> All right. Don't look at my tits, okay, Meredith? <laughs> I thought maybe your drink was spilling. Um, another story, since you guys like to talk about poop a lot. Yes. <laughs> Here's one. It's very embarrassing. Um, so I was working in a Veda concept salon right after college in Appleton. Oh, yeah. Um, and I was working 12 hours on call. And I was going to the bathroom, did my thing, came out, and I wasn't feeling very good yet. And all of a sudden, I was like, I really got a fart. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, so no. Never did anything weird like that in my pants before. Or anything <laughs> so I was like, I'll be fine. Well, then all of a sudden, I farted, and it was actually a shark. <laughs> shark. All of a sudden, I look at the time, and I was like, oh, my God, I have a men's haircut in 10 minutes. Oh, my God. So I ran to the bathroom, cleaned up everything. And oh, that's a nightmare. Did you I just like, leave? I can still smell. Did you leave your underwear on the floor like people do when they no, shit themselves? No, I still wore it. I still wore everything. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> Cheeks are all chafing. It's like, I, I don't know how to deal with this. I guess I'll just wipe it out with some toilet paper and put it back on. So as I was saying, I work, I used to work on an Aveda concept, and they had chakra sprays. They had what? what? Is it? Chakra sprays. So it's like body spray. Oh, chakra they, sprays. Chakra. Okay. Okay. Yep. Um, so, but they're very earthy tones. Okay. Like undertone smelling of them. But I was like, well, it's probably better than shit, shit. smelling in yeah. my pants. Yeah. Nope. No. Made it worse. Really? So then, <laughs> so then she's walking around smelling like muddy shit. Yeah. Like <laughs> shit chakra. Sandal, sandalwood and dirt. <laughs> oh, no kidding. It must have been because you didn't feel well. So then you go and spray it. Right, and it just like hoping to like get that, or did you spray it in the air? No, I sprayed my pants. Yeah, (laughs) (laughs) walk away smelling like muddy shit with a yeast infection. It didn't help at all. I was so embarrassed during that men's haircut, hoping he wouldn't say. Oh, what is smell? that? Oh my god! <laughs> Maybe he smelt it, but was very nice and didn't comment. Oh my yeah. god! Because like, they are on? kind of like sitting at like waist level. Oh. We are definitely in your bubble, or you're yeah. in our bubble. Yeah. Right, We're right. Close. Oh <laughs> yeah. god! So. Have you ever had like a dude like reach his elbow out so he'll brush your boob while you're walking past him while you're giving Stop him a haircut? Stop it! Happens. I've had that happen. I don't know if it was on purpose. I'm sure it was. I <laughs> pretend that it's not on purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, but sure. There's been yeah people who are. Yeah, doing their thing under the cape. And Ew! Uh, no yeah. way. Really? Yeah, you just like scratching their balls. Knock it off. Are they scratching their balls or are they like really like getting into it? I don't care what you're doing. You shouldn't be doing that <laughs> at a hair salon, getting a haircut. <laughs> what? <laughs> do that before you Sick. come in. What kind of Sick. place do you work at? No kidding. <laughs> Shit. I wouldn't even think that. <laughs> but I just don't think of that kind of stuff. I would. I mean, if you see the cape moving, you're just like, hmm. and you know, and I'm so like open. I'd get whoop whoop. Need some help? What's going on? What are you? Why, why are we moving all this? Why stuff, are we doing right? that? Why are we there? doing What's that? Like, I would not be able to keep it quiet. Like, you know what? Where's your hand? Show your hands. Hands on the wall. Hand check. Hand, hand check. check. <laughs> Like kids probably get kind of weird. They scream a lot. Do they? Yeah. Yeah. How do you handle that? How do you handle a screaming kid or like just one that keeps moving? Does obviously many, many don't like to get their hair cut, right. especially boys maybe, or are there, is it it's a pretty, mix. It's, it's a mix. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Even, yeah. yeah. I just try getting on their level, getting down on my knees. If they want to stand, I'll get on my knees and walk around them. And, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I have seen that a lot where they yeah. have the kids stand up. I'll or, let them use my spray bottle and spray me. And oh, just yeah. anything to keep them occupied. And yeah. Um, at one of the hair salons that I worked at, we had a little car seat car. So oh. they could pretend that they were driving in it. And Does that yeah, seem to help, fun. something like that? Help some. Do you remember yeah. the one that we mm-hmm. had in town? It was kids' yeah. cuts or whatever, yeah. and they had all the sport. That didn't last long. No, I'm surprised. I think that's such a good idea. I think I took yeah. Steve in there the once, time. maybe, but... I yeah. don't. I think it was gone by the time we even thought about. Well, he he only cuts his hair like once a year, once a year so yeah, yeah, it could have been gone. But yeah, that's neat. I think um, everybody who's worked retail has a couple stories. Understands about all that. And yeah, stuff. being yeah. treated poorly. So I was working again at Smart Style. I was a manager. I worked seven days a week, oh, nine a.m. to nine p.m. Of course. Um, I was at one point the only stylist there, so I had to be open. Oh god. Um, and my district manager ended up getting fired. But before she ended up getting fired, about a year before that, I said, hey, I'm going to New Jersey. I need this time off. And she's like, yep, that's totally fine. I'll work for you if you don't have any employees. I was like, awesome. Well, then she ended up getting fired. Oh, shit. Mm. And so I got a a new district manager appointed to me. 
And I was telling him about this, like, I've just low down everything that's going on. And I was like, and come to July, I'm going to be going to New Jersey. I'm going to need off. He goes, nope, can't have off. Oh, my God. Like, what? Like, what? He's like, I'm not going to work for you. If you can't find anybody to cover those days, you can't go. Like, was, after working 12, 12 hour days, seven days a week. Yep, no and day they off in oh almost God. a year. Like, mm. I was like, to my wits ends there. I thought about it, hung up with him. Did a couple of haircuts. And I was like, you know what? This is kind of bullshit. Yeah. Like, I've worked my ass off. I'm, I've gotten sick. Still couldn't call in. Yeah. And so finally I just did like two more haircuts, shut the door and. And walked out. It. I'm going to New Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good for you. Oh, so, yeah. Stick it to the man. So yeah. you can't work 12 hour days, seven days a week forever. So how long did right. you do right. that? Um, Before getting burnt out. Right. Uh, I was probably, I was there for almost two years. You oh, did that shit. for two years? Not straight. Oh, I was going to say, yeah. wow, that's ridiculous. But, yeah. It got bad. I like pretty much list. put a mattress in the back. Oh, <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. Now, well, I mean, the customers that mess yep. with themselves under the capes would be happy oh, about the mattress. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say something about customers always being like, oh, you got, you got a, a cot, cot set up in the back. <laughs> no, you're talking about dudes playing with their junk under their cape. <laughs> weirdos stop doing that you weirdos asking if we have boyfriends and i just hold up my hand yeah i do yeah <laughs> I'm married sick. Thanks. sick so i i think we ask everyone that comes on the show what made you decide to become hairdresser bartender all of that like where were you before um well i guess high school right yeah yeah so <laughs> high school like, what made you decide to do hair did you always, always do it when you were younger wanted to do hair yeah. um me and my cousin would do each other's hair and we would always get in trouble. I've came out bald from my grandparents' oh room my before. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, so I've always kind of known. And then I started getting into hair modeling. Oh, okay. Um, so then I did a couple of shows with that. How and does I that work? I really got more intrigued in it. Is it still around and how does that work? Hair modeling? Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm sure hair modeling is, yes, still around. I don't do it anymore, though. I mean, I just don't get calls anymore, so I didn't know if it was still around. I was like, man, sorry, I had lice at one time. <laughs> sorry, but I got rid of it. Come on, call me back. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I don't know. I had an agent that worked for me, and they just said, hey, like, there's a hair show coming up. If you want to go audition, go to this place and audition wow. so then they would all so you would audition and they would say we're looking for somebody with this kind of hair and we want to give them this kind of cut and color yeah so they probably had what they wanted to do their mindset it was probably for yeah. a new launch that they were doing a color line or a new technique or yeah. whatever um and then you everybody would stand up in a row in like the apart or apartment the hotel hallway and they would just pick everybody whatever they yeah, were like looking shady for. Shit oh, that's in cool the, yeah. in the apartment um, <laughs> so i don't know if you've ever seen sheer genius no. Oh, is it a movie? Because so. the no, answer show. would be no. no. Yeah. It is a no. show. They compete. Everyone knows I don't watch anything. Um, <laughs> so there's a very known artist called Tabitha Coffee. Okay. okay. Um, she's Go very well it. known. Is she kind of a bitch yes. <laughs> she's very intimidating well and you know one of us yeah. yeah and your typical smoker and the yeah. real Love voice it. and um then there was also another one um his name is anthony and i had no idea who they were and everybody started cheering as they were coming out and, and you're just like i was like okay around. is this what we're supposed to do during <laughs> hair shows like on audition <laughs> and then all of a sudden they came out and at the end and said who they were and like oh my god i had a celebrity touch my hair oh, yeah. <laughs> oh that's exciting um i had every color in my hair at that point of fashion colors red blue green yellow pink yeah anything and i had bangs but they were wavy oh wavy and I just bangs looked at myself i was like who would wear this oh my god <laughs> like, and what? it was like a super a super hairstylist that did it to yeah. you yeah i mean it was cool but i mean what yeah so it's a sheer genius is an american reality a tv series on the Bravo Network yes. mm. that focused on hairstyling. The show ran for three seasons, April 2007 to April 2010. It was nice. hosted by actress Jacqueline Smith. Who's that? I don't know. Oh. No. Um, <laughs> and two uh, um, Brazilian and the Brazilian model, Camila Alves. I don't know how to pronounce sure. that. Uh, for season three. Okay. So. Yeah, but yeah, Neat. I didn't know who Anthony was at first, and he's the one that said, "Yep, come with me." Oh, nice. and I remember walking down the hallway, and all of a sudden, I looked at him, and I was like, "You have beautiful eyes, oh. <laughs> just deep brown, big." Ah, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then I realized who he was. <laughs> And then he was like stroking your hair and he got weird underneath the cape. <laughs> oh, so Jacqueline Smith was part of the Charlie's Angels. I knew that sounded familiar. Oh. She's the brunette. Uh, okay. Yes. 
Okay. Because it's Smith, Farrah Fawcett, and yeah. Kate Jackson. Yeah. yeah. I, okay. knew, I knew that I sounded know familiar. Fawcett. I just, I had to Google it. It's I only know Farrah Fawcett. Okay, cool, cool, yeah. cool, cool. Yeah. Wow. So we're basically sitting with a celebrity <laughs> here from Sheer Genius. I mean, we're basically famous, so... <laughs> <laughs> that means I'm basically yeah. famous. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the team. Welcome to the group. We love famous people. So do you have some, I'm just going to say it, nightmare customers that every time they come in, you're like, oh, it's the day. It's the day. Or is it all pretty good? Um, I would give us say the, give us when the dish. I worked for four people, like Smart Style, Fantastic Sam's, I did have those nightmare clients because yeah. I had to take them. Yeah. Um, now I run my own business, Kondraza mm-hmm. Salon, and I can not take them if I don't want to. Yeah, yeah. you can always um, fire I a can customer. Just say I'm says that. up. I can give them to somebody else, but I don't have to take you now. Yeah, I don't have to be worried or have anxiety trying to take you back. So you're the owner of the salon. How many people work with you? Um, there are five other booth renters. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, what made you decide to own your own salon? I just had enough working for other people. Yeah, yeah. telling yeah. me when I can have off, can't have off. And how long have you had that? I need to act. How long have you had it? A little over a year. Okay. Wow. Yeah. It's going good. Mm -hmm. And where can people find it? Good people. Only the good. Only (laughs) people who don't complain or do weird shit under their cape. Yeah. I'll give you a hand check. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Um, Yeah. Because they can find you on Facebook. They can find me on Facebook. Kendraza Salon. K e n d r a z a. We already like her. Yes. Yeah. We click yep. like we clicked like this morning knowing she was coming over. Good. Good. I am located in Keele, Wisconsin. Nice. Okay. Inside of Salon H. Nice. Okay, very okay. good. And you're an LLC. Good for you. Yes, I am. Yeah, yes. we are too. Yep. Um, can we talk about the product you use? Because I like that product and I forgot to tell you to bring me some. No oh, shoes. Sick. Come on. Um, talk about the shampoo and conditioner you use because I loved it when I came and visited you guys. So I carry a Mika. Okay. Amica is um, paraben, um, sulfate, all that good stuff. Um, they use products from the sea as well. Um, they Wait, give are back they, to the community they, as well. Are they paraben and sulfate free? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. A M I K A. Am I? Oh, it's not. Amica. Um, you know what? Because I thought or it was. Or Amica. I was going to say, I was thinking of Amica cream when um, the Johnny Depp trial was oh, on. And they yes. used Amica cream. No, like <laughs> your eyes like twitching. <laughs> Is that with a C though? That one? I don't know. <laughs> okay. I just remember that one lawyer was like saying it wrong. She was calling it something else. Or... There was a lot about that trial that yeah. was said wrong. <laughs> I know. I know. That's so funny. It was a joke trial, I feel. Wait, so how do you say it? Amika. Amika. Okay. Mm-hmm. Amika. So yeah, if you guys um can find those products or they could like order it from you couldn't they they could yeah and you could mail it to them Mm -hmm. yeah heck yeah um yeah it's a very good product they have um the cure which is for protein for people who have damaged your blonde hair they have an everyday shampoo and conditioner that's not going to wear your hair out that's what i Um, need that is what you use at my house yeah and it was Um, fabulous they have just a lot of stuff all of their products do more than just one thing in them there is a smoothing fluid that cuts the dry time in half, tames the frizzes, oh. shines, moisturizes. Love so it. The products are a little expensive, but it's like worth it. Because you're getting three in one. Yeah. Well, nowadays, no one washes their hair anymore. So you can spend a little more because you're only going to wash it once a week. You can right. splurge a little a big bit. big old bottle is going to last you three months, Like even right? for me, yeah. I work mm-hmm. out almost every day. I just rinse. Yeah. You know, yeah. And then one day a week, I will really scrub and wash. I, I, I just wash use that dry shampoo. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I can't, I can't get into no, that yet. No, I can't do that. Do you have Mine a favorite dry shampoo? Looks cakey. I do. Mika. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, wow. No kidding. Um, they have Perk Up and Perk Up Plus. I do like the plus just because I feel like it has a little bit more volume with it. Yeah. It says Amika and the planet are friends forever. There you awesome. go. Good. Great. Yeah. Sounds mm-hmm. great. And maybe maybe they'll stuff. sponsor us now that we're talking yeah. about that. They have super bright colors. They it do. Says it packaging a with a purpose. fun bottle. The yeah. bright orange, pink, yellow. Yeah. Amazing. So that's your whole salon. That everyone uses that or no. just you personally? Um, well, when I went in there, that is what I first carried. Okay. Um, and I got two other stylists to actually transition into carrying that line as well. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Um, she said that she burnt her hair with a curling iron and she's like, now I got to cut it off. I said, no, you don't just try this. And I gave wow. her the cure and she came back. She goes, I love that stuff. You yeah. can't even tell my hair is damaged. Wow. The next that's thing great. I know I walk in and both of them have that line. I that's like, awesome. Cool. <laughs> you know, I don't know if there's really a way that you can fix damaged Wait. hair. Can we talk about the old man perm? Mm-hmm. How damaged is his hair? I mean, he shouldn't be getting perms anymore. <laughs> Dan, <laughs> story's done. 
<laughs> so I have a friend and his, her dad comes and sees me and he has permed his hair probably since the seventies, probably since he was five. So oh, he does it himself or no. he comes to get them done. He go, he goes to get them. Oh, done. okay. Okay. Um, and he has a mullet. Okay. So he gets it all permed and the mullet's probably past his shoulders. And exact same hairstyle since he was young. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. And he just cannot get over it. And every time I see my friend, I was like, hey, your dad's coming in. <laughs> He's like, cut it all off. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so whatever. So the first, the last time, second last time I did a perm, the top didn't last. And I said, you can come in and we can redo it. No big deal. Sometimes perms don't take, take. all the time. Yeah. Um, so whatever. He's like, no, nah, don't worry about it. I'll just come back in when I'm six, seven more months to redo the perm. No problem. So then he comes back in just probably about a month ago and I cut perm his hair, cut his mullet. And I see him probably two weeks later and he goes, Kendra, this side by my ear is not taking now. What is it? Is my hair just not accepting perms anymore? <laughs> yeah. Like, probably not. Surprised oh, it hasn't wow. fallen out by now. It's so dry, so brittle. I tell him to do treatments all the time. Yeah. I, I test strand him to make sure I don't want to give you a perm and it's going right. to fall off or melt off. Right. Um, but. Yeah. And he just comes every seven months to get the perm. Yep. I feel like and there would haircut. be enough growth, but he's been doing it for so long that it just, yeah. it's constantly damaged. Well, and he's getting older, or... so it's thinning, yeah. he's balding, oh, okay. so the hair is really fragile too. And, hair and it is something He's a construction happens. worker yeah. as well, so it's just that wind blowing oh, and drying everything drying out. Drying sun too yeah. on it. Yep. Yeah. So does that happen like when your hair is dry, it won't take color or won't take perms or any kind of chemical process when it's that dry? Um, I wouldn't Dry say old. that. It could be more brittle. Yeah. Um, okay. That's where you do test strands just to make sure everything's okay and you're not going to damage it more. Yeah. yeah. Um, if you have really damaged blonde hair and you're like, hey, I want to be brighter, I'm going to say no. no. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. We can work our way going brighter and you can do haircuts. You can do deep conditioning treatments and at home care. Yeah. And then do they argue with you about it? I was just going to say, is it hard to talk to people? No, they normally say, okay, we'll do that. Yeah. And then they'll go somewhere else. Yeah, right. They'll go keep going to someone that's going to do it. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Can we talk about like your bartending career now? Sure. Okay. Because like, yeah, you're going to have weird customer interactions (sighs) while cutting hair, but then you add alcohol into the... They just get weirder. Yeah. (laughs) Nothing good happens after midnight. (laughs) I love that. (laughs) Because you work some weird shifts. Like you work nine till what, three in the morning or something like that? Nine to close. So weekday two, weekend two thirty. Oh my God. My gosh, you are busy. I know. And then she comes home to a sink full of dishes. Tyler, do the fucking dishes. <laughs> and I work in assisted livings. <laughs> yes. That's right. You were giving him shit when I you were was. up there a couple months I ago. Was. You were like, really? Just I was clean absolutely. the house. She's yes. not working two jobs to come home and wash your fucking Tyler, dishes. Tyler, we know you're listening to this one. We know one. you're listening to Tyler. <laughs> yes. You better fucking wash your dishes. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so you go to the old folks home too, and you give them mm-hmm. perms and roller sets. Yes. Yeah. That's what great grandma always got was a roller set. And that is such a rewarding job. Yeah. They appreciate it so much. They tell me it all the time. Aww. They look forward to it. They call me. That's how you, you know, that's how you're getting into heaven is by doing those. I hope so. Yeah. Wish I knew how to do a roller set. I'm going to be in trouble getting into heaven. I got to learn how to do a roller set. Why? So that I can go to heaven. Oh, uh, well, No. <laughs> I thought you meant like you're going to do it to yourself. I did too. <laughs> like, they have people for that. <laughs> like not yet, Meredith. You're only 39. You don't. I need used a to look like yet. I had a roller set Stop. when I was younger. Okay, because did you guys ever get perms when you were younger? Oh yeah, yeah. Dude, Grandma Dar gave me a perm once when I was like eight or nine, and I was like, never fucking again. I looked like I belonged on the Golden Girls oh. at eight years old with a perm. Awful. <sighs> And then my mom cut my bangs when she had no business cutting bangs. I cut my Aww. own bangs. So <laughs> I did you have it. bangs. No, I no, cut I my say. own bangs when I was in kindergarten. I took scissors to the bathroom and cut my own bangs at school. I feel like every kid has done that. Yeah. I actually just had to fix a kid's haircut. Yeah. Thursday night. Because they, they had... cut themselves. She had hair to her back. Oh my and God. She cut a big chunk right up to the middle of her neck. Oh no. Oh. Right in front. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh no. So when Julia was little, I was working. Um, I can't remember where I was working, maybe at the tanning salon yeah. when we owned it down in Roselle and Steve walked upstairs and she was cutting her hair. Like, you know how kids do with the scissors yeah. like by their forehead and she was cutting it and putting it on the counter and she looked back and she looked at him. She goes, no, 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 go back downstairs, dad, go back downstairs. <laughs> he was like, oh, are you cutting your hair? She's like, yep, go back downstairs, dad. <laughs> it was so cute. 
I remember you remember like, that. Don't tell mom. Yeah. And he was like, Oh, what you doing? <laughs> so cute. I used to volunteer at their school. And there was a little girl that had cut like with the scissors, right, you know, Ugh. right by the, by the forehead. Right. They just didn't want, and they just lay the scissors on their forehead and like close it. Yes. Right. So, so mom was very crafty and made all these cute headbands. Stop. And so every Wednesday we would go to take the kids to the movie theater because it was only $1. So it was like a field trip for the kids. So as the weeks went on, like it was like a bow and then a flower and mom would always make, and then you could tell that it was like getting longer because then the headband was a little bit further back and you could see some bangs. (laughs) So cute. So cute. Kids are so cute. Yeah. Y'all can keep them. (laughs) What's your favorite drink to make? Um, so I don't really know if it has a name, but you can use Malibu or vodka. Okay. And mm. then it is orange juice with some pineapple, a little bit of grenadine and a squirt of Sprite. Mm. Oh, and what do you call it? People, My drink. Oh, <laughs> you want a fruity drink? Let's can do we it. get a Kendra, please? <laughs> yeah. Is that what it is? Wow. Sure. Yeah. It sounds wow. like a sunrise. Some sort of good. sunrise. Almost a lot of people ask me if it's like a rum runner. Oh, say, okay. say it one more time for everybody. It is, you can either use a vodka or Malibu, Malibu which would be original Malibu. Yeah. Um, orange juice, pineapple, a little bit of grenadine, and a splash of Sprite. Yeah. Wow. That sounds good. That does sound good. Remember I sent you that drink? It was kind of similar to that. And, and you know, like, Julia loves these? Malibu. Yeah. And pineapple and all that mm-hmm. kind of stuff. So I, I think, think the that's one something I sent, she would like. I sent you for vacation had champagne on top. Yes. Ooh, yes. But yes, it was yes, something yes. similar so to I'm just that. And you said we have to do this. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Just kind of like my screwdrivers I like with vodka, orange juice, and pineapple. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that sounds really good. I don't, I just Too drink much champagne. orange juice. Yeah. There. Yeah, we like yeah. champagne. I just I drink, drink a lot of those on my we birthday. Did. Oh my God. <laughs> we killed like four bottles of champagne on your birthday. How do you handle tough customers? Oh, well, let's, <laughs> how talk- late in the night and how much? I was going to say, yeah, the bar scene, the bar scene. <laughs> yes. We already talked about the hair salon. Like, how do you handle them? Is there always someone with you at the bar, first of all? No. So you, okay, so is it a smaller alone. bar? It is a small bar, a small dive bar in Kiel. Okay. Um, Busty Lush. But let's, Busty Lush. Oh, she, no, you, you got a different <laughs> shirt on. We're not going to talk about that one. She closes alone, but Tyler's always there waiting for yeah. you, right? So you don't yeah. have to worry about always. being alone. Always. Yeah, yes. okay. I mean, we're more of a little bit of a rowdy bar. It's kind of a dive bar. The music's really loud, so mm. we don't mind some roughness and whatnot, but sometimes it does get carried away. Um, kick them out. Yeah, yeah, that's all. Just on your way up. Show them the fist. And I'm yeah. gonna, <laughs> warning you. I'm going to say, is it normally the regulars that are getting out of hand or new people coming in? New people. New people. Okay. Yeah, yeah, people that are coming So you're kind of like a stop on the yeah. way. Yeah, yeah there's yeah. probably like seven bars on the main drag. Yeah. Okay. Bar hop. What's the, what's the beer of choice there? Bush. Bush. Bush okay. White. Bush. All right. And Corona. Oh, oh really? Okay. Yeah. okay. But we don't serve lime. Okay. No lime. I'm all okay. Right. I'm okay with no lime with my Corona. You know what? Because do you wash your limes before you cut them and fill up the container? We don't have limes. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't need to worry on, let's about reverse. that. <laughs> they don't do limes with their Corona. <laughs> Edit that. <laughs> Absolutely not. That okay. was great. Instead of asking you if you do, I'm going to okay. make a statement. Okay. No bar fucking washes their limes before they cut them. <laughs> Therefore, you got dirty fruit in your drink. You're not wrong. You know? Yeah. But you don't do yeah. that. You don't have fruit no. in your drink. She, she, don't, no. she don't have no limes. She so. don't have no limes. <laughs> <laughs> and if we do, they're gone within three hours. Yeah. Cause so we're getting so close to summer. Them. Finally, sunny. Thank God. 60. We're going to go back to hair real quick. Well, actually, I have two questions. So how do you feel about people putting lemon in their hair when they're sitting out in the sun or the sun ends or anything showing like your that? Age. And then <laughs> sun is still is sold. Get out. Yeah, stop it. Might it might still be on the shelf. Ain't nobody buying that shit. The bottom I the know shelf. people still put shit in their hair when they sit out in the sun. I've seen it at the beach. And then my second question is, what's your favorite beach drink? Mm. Ah, I'm not aging myself, drinks. bitch. Sun in? <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> we were just talking about sunning at the salon. See, oh, she's yes. young. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> um, I tell people not to do that. <laughs> okay. For the hair. Mind, yes. Okay. Don't, yes. Don't do, don't put um, anything very in damaging. your hair. Okay. So right. what, how do you suggest protecting your hair if you're going to be out in the sun all day? Yeah. There, well, you can put sunscreen on, um, okay. but your hair will get a little greasy, but there yeah. are products that do have UV protectant in it. Oh, okay. okay. Um, Mika actually makes one as well. Yeah. Okay. So otherwise okay. just wear a hat. Yeah. Wear a hat. 
Okay, very good. Yeah. Very yeah. good. What are we going to do this upcoming week when we're on vacation? <laughs> I'm going to be drunk. I don't give a <laughs> shit. <laughs> we're a good beach hat. Yeah, I do have a beach hat. Maybe I'll bring it. I'll I know. I was you. thinking about getting a big one. Yeah, that I have one. Yeah. I'm going to bring it. And then what's your favorite drink on the beach? Um, I would like, I do a seltzer. Okay. So hang out okay. a lot longer. Yeah. More refreshing. You got a favorite seltzer? It doesn't matter as long as it's I like bubbly. truly, I do like Carbless a lot. Oh, okay. Carbless is something yes. that's only sold in Wisconsin. So it is okay. locally yeah. made down by us. Yep. In a small town in Glenbula. Oh, wow. Very it's good. very lightly sparkling. Like it does not have a lot of carbonation okay. in it at all. It's and not the like flavor a flavor is good. Ooh. It, it's like high noons. But different yeah high noons know. keep me up all night oh god let's, okay, a, let's end yeah. on a sad one all right let's end on a sad one so we can always cut it out yeah as i said i work in an assisted living and um this would be where they there's there were two house, four houses two of them were assisted and two of them were memory care okay memory okay. wards they had the dementia alzheimer's My biggest fear is i'm gonna yeah, forget know, a little too. bit more help needed sure sure and i don't really go into those houses very much but there was one guy that really needed his haircut i do his hair every six weeks six seven weeks um, and he was on hospice. Oh. And I knew that. But that doesn't really mean much when you're in assisted living. Right. You could be seven years. You can get out of hospice right. when you're on hospice. Yeah. Um, so whatever, I was come, I was getting ready for him. He was walking in all cheery and dancing and giving me a kiss on my hand and just his goofy old self. And I was cutting his hair and I started talking to him. He was answering back. And all of a sudden, he just got super tired and kind of just stopped talking. And I was like, no big deal. Like the medication that you take yeah. and you're probably just tired. You were just super hyper and energized. And I asked him a question. He was super quiet, and I ended up shaking him, and he didn't move. And oh, my, my gosh. Just went down a little further. And I was oh. like, what? And so I, like, shook him a little more and nothing. So oh then I was like, God. okay, I think he passed away. But I was too nervous to, like, touch him and, like, check oh, right. Oh, my right. God. So I ended up going out to, like, a CNA, and I was like, hey, like, I think he passed away, but I'm too nervous to, like, check anything. Yeah. And so they came in and he's like, yep, he passed away. Oh. And so I obviously didn't have to finish the haircut. Oh my <laughs> so God. I just went on with my day and that was like at 8, 10 in the morning. Oh right my when God. I don't even know there. if I could finish the day. Yeah. Like, that's what Tyler said. Up. He's like, did you go home? I was like, I had three other houses I had to go yeah. to. Oh. So I then, probably would have poured a drink. Oh, oh it was about gosh. 11 o'clock and all of a sudden I see the corner come. And in my head, I was like, he passed away at eight o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Wow. Why did you wait until 11? It does take a while So sometimes. no, when they're on hospice, nobody can touch them, move them until hospice comes. Okay. Oh. okay. So if it takes them 10 hours, you have to keep Shit. that man there, that lady there. That is crazy. Oh. So he was in my salon chair. You know what? At least his hours. last moments where he was excited to see you and he was yes. enjoying himself. And then he just... See, that's how I want to go. Yeah. Like, just like, meh, okay, bye. Yeah. Yep, you didn't want to die alone. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Never, though. I've been doing assisted living here for years. I don't think I could do that. it. Those that, like you, that visit and help those that memory care or older, I, such, a, such an amazing, you're a blessing to those people. Yes. Yeah. It's it amazing. very rewarding. Very. Because yeah. I, I, uh, I, I don't think I could do it. I would just cry all the time. Just be depressed. You'd make them depressed. My ma forgets something like the time we're going to have Easter and I cry for her. Like, <laughs> yeah. why are you forgetting the time, mom? You are you getting older? Um, my mother texted me today. <laughs> mother. <laughs> it's Saturday. Okay, right now we're recording Saturday before Easter. Yeah. And she goes, hey, Easter's on Sunday, right? <laughs> I Easter's told, tomorrow, right? And I was like, uh, yeah. I totally thought Easter was on Saturday. Don't make us put you in memory care. <laughs> well, then I told you guys last night, like, why didn't we have Easter today? Why do we wait until Sunday? Right. Because then everybody's going to get full and have to go home. Like, you guys right. have a two-hour drive from you here. Could just you just do know? a whole weekend. I mean, we are doing a whole weekend, yeah. but. <laughs> you colored some eggs last night. We I did. Saw. That's, so, that's what you want. Yes. That's what you wanted. I know. Julie and I so did it last excited. week, too. It was just random. We were, we were walking around. Meyer, I think, yeah. shopping for something. Yeah. And all of a sudden she's like, let's call her Easter eggs. I'm like, okay. okay. And they have a great selection. So I was like, that's it. It's awesome. Did you do any of the shrink wrap? We you did. Know? We okay. did. You had small enough eggs? We did. Our eggs wouldn't fit on them. Oh. But I just want to laugh at Kendra for a what second. What size <laughs> eggs did you get? I don't know. I guess Not we just small got the jumbo. Large. Yeah. <laughs> jumbo. So, yeah, yeah. I'm telling Kendra Wombo. last night, like, <laughs> we're going to do Easter eggs, this and that, you know, blah, blah, blah. So I got a cactus kit and then I got a mermaid kit, Ooh. right? So she's looking at the things that you shrink around the egg. And I was like, yeah, you know, we're going to put those in there and shrink it around it and blah, blah, blah. She goes, 
it shrinks around it. And I was like, yeah, she goes, I never knew that. I just put them in it when I was a kid. Like my parents never shrink. Oh, them on no there. kidding. <laughs> That's great. And me and Tyler are like, wow, sometimes we didn't have electricity growing up, but at least we had <laughs> shrink wrapped eggs. <laughs> It's like, because it didn't require any electricity to make those. <laughs> well, thanks so much for joining yeah, us. Thanks, I know you were, little, having me. you were a little nervous and we had to get her a cocktail and nervous stuff, poops. but you did great. You did great. Yeah. yeah. Good, Good job. Uh, Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Go visit her. Ken draws a salon. Yeah. Yes. Go Wisconsin. like her page. Go like her page, please. Like it. All right. Bye. 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 Talk to you next week. Good. Good. This podcast is brought to you by Nametag Productions, LLC. Entire podcast, unless otherwise stated, written by the hosts. The Klopin Effect, a retail podcast. If we have to be all on this together, we might as well make it fun.